I heard an amazing story. In April 2016, in Orlando, Florida, there were a group of high school girls, and they went on a Shabbaton, a weekend retreat. And unfortunately, over the Shabbos, two girls went on a walk, and I guess they were somewhere in the wilderness. And these two girls began to walk and walk, and they're talking. And at some point, they look up and they realize, where's, where's the rest of the, of the high school? Where are we? And they sit and they try and navigate their way back to where they started, but they couldn't make it back. They, they were truly lost. And of course, the camp supervisor, when they realized that these two girls were missing, they began to search. And you know how the Jews are. Mika Amcha Yisrael, there's nobody as united as us. And as Shabbos ended, Jews across the world started saying to Hillem, and volunteers started coming out of the woodwork. But in Boca Raton, Shabbos ended very late. And the community over there said, we're also sending volunteers. We have to go find those girls. By the time they got everyone together to meet in the parking lot by the van, it was already 3 a.m. And as they're loading and going into the van, all of a sudden another van pulls up. And they wait to see. It seems like it's somebody else who wants to volunteer and come with them to try and find these girls. And out of the van comes a man who is handicapped. And he pulls himself into a wheelchair. And he rolls himself over to the van of these volunteers waiting to go look for the girls. And of course, they're sitting there and they're thinking, he can't help. And they step forward to approach him. They start, you know, I'm so sorry. I wish we could take you, but this man is just not handicap accessible. It's not meant for him. And he stops them. And he says, I know. I know that there is no way I could come with you. There is no way I could look for these girls. He said, but when I heard that these two girls were missing, I said, we must find them. But I can't. He said, but I can't go. But then I will wheel myself up to the van that is going. Because that at least is as far as I can go to find them. I'm not here to go where I can't. I came to go as far as I can. Deeply inspired, they drove. They searched that night. And with Hashem's help, they had found those two girls. They were well, they were lost in a swampy area. They were healthy, they were fine. And you'll say that it was the volunteers that made it out into that swamp that found those girls. I say I'm not sure. I think it's very possible that that handicapped man found those girls. Because he showed up and he said, how far can I go? I know I can't go all the way. I know my limitations. That doesn't stop me. That's not the question. Hashem is with me. I'm here to just do everything I can do. He drove up to the van. This is as far as I could go. And who knows if that's not exactly the reason that Hashem said, well, now I'm going to help the people who go there find those girls. Because you did everything you could.
you went as far as you could. I'll take it from here. But you can't. You can't. We can. Hashem tells every one of us. You can't, but we can. Let's do it together. Take a step forward. 